Hello, how to solve x power 6 minus 1 is equal to 0 to find the values of x from this equation. So, from x power 6 into square is same as x power 3 bracket square minus 1 into square is same as 1 square is equal to 0. Then from this part is in the form of a perfect square. So, we'll apply the rule a square minus b square is equal to a plus b bracket times a minus b bracket so when compare a square with x power 3 bracket square then a is equal to x power 3 and when you compare b square with 1 square then b is equal to 1 then in next step our equation will be a plus b is x power 3 plus 1 bracket then times a minus b is x power 3 minus 1 bracket is equal to 0 then in next step our equation will be x power 3 then plus 1 it will be 1 power 3 bracket then times this x power 3 then minus 1 to be 1 power 3 bracket is equal to 0 then from this part of the equation is in the form of a perfect cube so we'll apply the rule a power 3 plus b power 3 is equal to a plus b bracket then times a square minus a b plus b square bracket so when we compare a power 3 with x power 3, then a is equal to x. And when we compare b power 3 with 1 power 3, then b is equal to 1. Then in next step, from this second part of the equation, is also in the form of a perfect cube. So we'll apply the rule a power 3 minus b power 3 is equal to a minus b bracket then times a square plus a b plus b square bracket so when you compare a power 3 with x power 3 then a is equal to x and when you compare b power 3 with 1 power 3 then b is equal to 1 So, from this first part of the equation, we'll apply this rule. So, it will be a plus b is x plus 1, bracket, then times a square, it will be x square, then minus a b, it will be minus x times 1, so it's minus x, then plus b square, it will be plus 1 square which is 1 then bracket now from this second part of the equation we will apply this second rule so to be a minus b is x minus 1 bracket x minus 1 bracket then times a square it will be x square then plus a times b to be x times 1 so x times 1 is x then plus b square to be 1 square 1 square is 1 bracket is equal to 0 then in next step from this equation we have 1 2 3 4 solutions so from the first solution is x plus 1 is equal to 0 and this is the second solution which is x minus 1 is equal to 0 and this is the third solution x square minus x plus 1 is equal to 0 and this is the fourth solution which is x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 so we will let this as equation 1 and this as equation 2 and this is equation 3 and this is equation 4 now to solve from the first equation or from equation 1 
which is x plus 1 is equal to 0. We take 1 to the right side, so it will be x is equal to negative 1. So this is the solution from equation 1. Again, from the second equation, which is x minus 1 is equal to 0, from equation 2, which is x minus 1 is equal to 0, we take negative 1 to the right side, so it will be x is equal to 1. So this is the solution from equation 2. Then to solve from the third equation, from equation 3, which is x square minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. And from equation 4, which is x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, from equation 4, which is x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Then these are quadratic equation. So, from the first quadratic equation, a is equal to coefficient of x square is 1. B is equal to coefficient of x is negative 1. And C is equal to constant is 1. Then from quadratic formula, which is x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then it will be x is equal to negative b is negative 1 plus or minus square root of b square, it will be negative 1 square. Then minus 4 times a is 1, times c is 1. Then over 2 times a is 1. Then in next step, x is equal to Negative times negative 1 is positive 1 plus or minus square root of negative 1 square is 1. Negative 4 times 1 times 1 is negative 4 over 2 times 1 is 2. Then in next step, x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root 1 minus 4 is negative 3 over 2. Then in next step, x will be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of negative 3 is same as square root of 3 times square root of negative 1 then over this 2. Then x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 3 square root of negative 1 is i over this 2. Then x is equal to 1 over 2 then plus or minus this square root of 3 i over 2. So this is the solution from equation 3. Then to solve again from equation 4, which is this quadratic equation, whereas a is equal to coefficient of x square is 1, and b is equal to coefficient of x is 1, and c is equal to constant is 1. Then from quadratic formula, x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then x is equal to negative b is 1. Then plus or minus square root of b square to be 1 square. Then minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 1, then over 2 times a is 1, then x is equal to this negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square is 1, negative 4 times 1 times 1 is negative 4, over 2 times 1 is 2, then x will be equal to this negative 1 plus or minus square root 
1 minus 4 is negative 3 over these two. Then x is equal to this negative 1 plus or minus this is same as square root of 3 times square root of negative 1 over 2. Then x is equal to this negative 1 over 2 then plus or minus this square root of 3 square root of negative 1 is i over this 2. So this is a solution from equation 4. Now from our problem which is x power 6. So it means it has 6 values of x. Whereas the first value of x is x is equal to negative 1. So x1 is equal to negative 1. And x2 is equal to from equation 2. Whereas x2 is equal to 1. And x3 is equal to from solution of equation 3, when it is positive, it will be a half plus square root of 3i over 2. And x4 is equal to, when it's negative, it will be a half minus square root of 3i over 2. x5 is equal to, from this solution, when it is positive, it will be negative a half plus square root of 3i over 2. And x6 is equal to, when it's negative, it will be negative a half minus this square root of 3i over 2. So, these are all the six values of x in this our problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.